big sports fan. Who who is your favorite football team? I mean, is it the Jets now, or you, did you have absolutely. another football team? Absolutely. It's always been the Jets here. Now. I, I, it's I, I, full will plead, front. I will plead the full fifth at this point. Politically correct I, I'm a statement. Jet. You know, I, I will share with you that back in 1969, when I was 16, and I was, it was a great year for me because uh, my dad is a New Yorker, and I was born in New York. Uh, we weren't actually living here at the time, but it was a year of the Mets, the Knicks, and the Jets. It was an extraordinary year. Now, you guys weren't born. The man on the moon, too. And the man on the moon. So <laughs> it was a very uh, novel year. I hope, I hope this year, uh, 2009, is a novel year for all the New York teams. Yeah, the Jets are really overdue, it seems. We know you're from 40 University. years. We know you're University of Florida. Today, breaking news about Percy Harvin, the receiver, how he uh, failed a drug test. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I heard <laughs> that. Yeah. He, oh. he, he was supposed to maybe go late first round. Do you think this could maybe affect his draft? Well, I think what will happen, uh, you know, character counts. One of the things that we were very impressed with the director of player personnel that we met up uh, with yesterday is the, the Jets draft uh, based on character as well. Uh, so they wouldn't take uh, an Owen or a Plexico Burris. I mean, it's important to them. And uh, they think, you know, building that kind of, of team uh, is uh, now. Uh, you know, there may be some explanation. Uh, you know, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. If it is true, it's very disappointing news to hear. I'm sure a lot of player personnel and coaches who were thinking of drafting him are on the phone. I mean, he, he may drop uh, several rounds. He is a talented person. I watched him, you know, the last few years. He may be a little small for the NFL. You know, durability is a question, but boy, does he have speed and great hands. Now, being a Obviously, going to the University of Florida, are you a big T uh, Tim Tebow fan? Were you upset that he didn't go to the draft? Or no, I'm not. I think you know everyone looks at him. You know, will he be a quarterback in the NFL? I think the reason that he stayed behind another year was really to develop his credentials as an NFL quarterback. Uh, I think you're going to see him dropping more into uh, you know a passing situation, and because uh, I think he would like to uh, be a quarter uh, quarterback. You know, a few years ago, Arkansas had this marvelous quarterback that ended up in a, in a whole different... Uh, I look at, you know, I was at West Virginia University before we came, and White, uh, I'm surprised he's not getting any interest. Pat White is a, is a big quarterback they're talking about. I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan, and they've been talking about him in the Wildcat formation. Will he be a late first rounder, early second rounder, or will he drop to the third? He's kind of a wild card there. I have friends right. who go to West Virginia. I mean, they've told me how great he's been. He's, a, he's another one in the draft that could be big somebody a big surprise. Yeah, if you remember, a number of years ago, uh, Terrell, uh, I can't think of his last name, was a running back for Denver. Davis. Terrell Davis. Uh, 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 right. Remember, uh, he went in the seventh round. Mm -hmm. Nobody had any interest in him. So I think if you do your homework, there are some real surprises out there. Tom Brady. Uh, yeah. Tom, Joe Montana, some yeah, of the greatest they're, quarterbacks they're, ever. So that's what I'm hoping the Jets do. They find that surprise. That niche player that, you know, one day we all look back and say, boy, how did everybody miss that player? And it makes a world of difference. And we uh, we thank you, uh, President Bearbaum, for taking time out of your busy schedule. I mean, we know with all this jet, Jets hoopla, you know, going down to the city, seeing Rex Ryan, the facility down for him in New Jersey, it's been very busy for you and for you to come down here for us for our first oh, ever sim pleasure. simulcast for CSTV 20, Into the Fire, you know, we're... All big sports fans. We have this sports show. We put a lot of time and effort to it, and it's just great that you could come down for us, yeah, Kelsey. And yeah, I do listen. You know, when I'm free, when I get in the car, my uh, my radio is on 90.5. So as I drove down, you know, I was smiling as I was listening to you, uh, gentlemen, broadcast. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor for you to come. Well, on. it's my pleasure. Well, we thank you very much for joining us then today on Into the Fire. This will be the end of our broadcast. We have one more show left for the end of semester. Unfortunately, it's coming to a close here. And uh, we'll join you next week, folks. We thank you for joining our, our telecast here on CAS TV 20, and uh, we'll see you next week. Comes now a melody which has always been great to me. WSUC, Cortland. Sit back. Another little forget. Crank it up. Crank it up. The musical style is all. Uh, no, 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 90.5 WSUC. Cortland Hills Public Radio. Cortland Hills Public Radio. Cortland Hills Public Radio. Cortland Hills Public Radio.